open-ended questions are a huge tool as a facilitative behavior for you to have as a facilitator. And here's the challenge. We are not great at open-ended questions. If you are, I'm going to use a U.S. statistic. Um, if we followed you around with a tape recorder over the course of a day, they say 87 to 89% of our questions are closed-ended or binary response questions. And the thing is, we don't know how many closed-ended questions we ask because generally people don't answer our questions. If I say, did you talk to finance? Usually people are not going to say yes or no. They'll say, oh yeah, not only did I talk to finance, I talked to, or they'll say, yeah, and here's what they said, right? So we don't know that we just asked a binary question. And that's, uh, binary questions aren't bad. It's more, are you in control of it? And oftentimes what we can't bracket comes out as a leading question or a closed-ended question. So when we talk about open-ended questions, here's what to put in your back pocket. I want you to memorize these, get them in your gut, which is what, how, tell me more. You're about to ask a question. That is a, did you, could you, have you? Flip it to what, how, tell me more. Now, sometimes that's easy for us, right? Again, we saw that in what you listed in chat, but if we're bothered by something, or even if I'm concerned about time, right? I may come with a, did you, could you, have you kind of question when really we need to get more information from this person. If you want to work on your open-ended questions, and again, it is such an important skill for us to have as facilitators, my suggestion is start practicing. And you can practice in different ways. Listen to something on the TV and then turn it off and come up with five good quality open-ended questions. Listen to a podcast. Stop it in the middle. What five good quality open-ended questions. If you really want to push yourself on open-ended questions, then have um, listen to something you don't agree to and see if you can truly come up with curiosity-based questions. That's our challenge.